Chinese New Year coming up this weekend and I'm really excited because I get to see all my family members that I haven't seen for quite some time and I get to spend time with my family basically having reunion dinners and lunches and lots and lots of food. I get to see my cousin. I'm really excited because I have so many steamboat parties planned out over the next few weeks and yep it's basically lots and lots of food and visiting relatives and collecting ang pao packets. I hope you manage to get lots of ang pao's and yeah um, I'm really excited and maybe I'll do some vlogging over the next couple of weeks um, over this festive period but um, I'll see how it goes because it's a really busy time for Chinese here in Singapore especially. Um, there's so many things to and do. There's lots of lights. There's the River Ong Pao Festival happening at the Singapore River. There's tons and tons of lights and shopping to do at Chinatown and um, basically I've done a lot of shopping um, be it new makeup, new skincare products, uh, new clothes and um, it's just here and there and I haven't really had time to do a haul video um, because you know my house has just been renovated so yeah I hope you guys have a really great new year ahead um, for the Chinese and those of you who are not Chinese I mean just busk in the festive season that's happening around your area or your neighborhood and yeah, just enjoy the festivities happening, enjoy all the great food. A lot of you will be visiting relatives this Chinese New Year period and I thought that it would be great to do a tutorial on how I would be doing my Chinese New Year look. Um, this look that I'm going to be wearing out to visit my relatives and it's a really simple neutral eye with gold and plumish colors and um, the important part is that all the makeup I'm using is pretty oil free and um, it will help you maintain that matte look and stay fresh looking throughout the entire day. I know most of us, we wake up really early in the morning, we go visit our relatives, we might even visit memorial um, grave sites and we go around paying respects to our elders. Um, and basically visit the entire family line, right, if I'm not wrong. So, um, you would want your makeup to stay on your face all day without smudging, without running, all the sweat and humidity. And I think this would be a really great look to wear. And if you want to know how I achieve this look, then stay tuned and keep watching. So I'm taking my L'Oreal Mercia Tinted Moisturizer and this is the oil-free one. And I'm just dotting this all over my face. And after this, with my clean fingers, I'm just going to evenly spread this out. And I did a detailed review on this in my January Favorites video, so I will link that down below. And now I'm taking my L'Oreal True Match Concealer. I use the shade W123. And I'm just dotting over my spots, my T-zone, my birthmarks and blending this out with my fingers and gently patting this under my eyes as well. Taking my Urban Decay Primer Potion, I'm just priming my eyelids all the way up to my brow bone and under my eyes. And you want to make sure you use a primer potion because you want your eye makeup to stay on all day. And taking my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powder, I'm just buffing this into my face with a large powder brush, especially my T-zone and nose area where I get oily. Now moving on to my brows, I'm going to draw in with my Silky Girl Natural Brow Pencil and I'm just keeping them as light and natural as possible following my eyebrow shape. And taking my Perfect Brow Kit from Etude House, using a stiff angled brush, I'm taking this light brown color and just setting my brows with this powder. And moving on, I'm just using my fingers to get this highlighter shade and just highlight my brow bone as well as my inner corners. Taking my Maybelline Color Tattoo, I'm using the shade Bad to the Bronze. I'm just using my fingertips and picking some of the product up and just applying this and blending this over my entire eyelid as a base. And this color is really nice and I've been loving using this. Now moving on to my eyeshadows, I'm taking my Sleek palette. This is a Sparkle 2 palette. 
and I'm using this plum shade with gold speckles called mild wine and I'm just patting this with an eyeshadow brush at my outer corners and going over my crease halfway as well as close to my lash line and you don't have to worry about the color looking too harsh right now because of course we will be blending this out so this is just um, a base color for us to deepen our eye sockets and give our eyes a smoky plum effect and I really love how this plum color has the gold speckles in them because it makes it really festive and I'm just sweeping this under the outer half of my bottom waterline for an extra dimension from the same palette, I'm taking this dark brown shade with some gold glitter as well and with a shorter fluffy brush, I'm just um, patting this and swirling this into the outer corners of my eye as well but not going all the way covering the plum colour so just make sure that it's concentrated and lower than the plum colour and just sweep this into the outer one quarter um, of your bottom waterline as well and blend this out above the plum shade Next, I'm taking this shimmery gold shade and I'm just patting this across the center of my eyelids to give my eyes that extra pop. Now with a clean fluffy brush, you just want to swirl this and using windshield wiping motions, just go back and forth, back and forth and just gently swirl everything and blend everything together such that you can see that the colours are nicely blended without any harsh lines in between. With a small pencil brush, I'm just using this highlighter shade from MAC and I'm just sweeping this into the outer corners to brighten my eyes a lot more. Taking my MAC Black Track Fluid Gel Liner, I'm just tight lining my eyes and I'm keeping it as natural looking as possible and I'm going to give myself a nice Chinese New Year cat eye effect so just wing it out naturally following the shape of your eye shape um, especially the bottom half and then just thicken the liner a little especially towards the end and I'm just bringing this down on the outer half of my bottom waterline as well Moving on to my face, I'm taking my Milani Baked Bronzer and with a blush brush, I'm just swirling this into the hollows of my cheekbones and doing the fish face makes it a lot easier to define them. And I'm not going to be putting too much blush because I just want a very natural glowy bronze effect and make my face look a lot slimmer from eating all the Chinese New Year goodies, if you know what I mean. Taking my Sigma Tapered Face Brush with my Tarte Highlighter, I'm just sweeping this over the high points on my face, so my cheekbones under my eyes, as well as my nose bridge and my forehead, my cupid's bow and my chin, so that my face stays highlighted and contoured throughout the day. Taking my Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Lip Stain, I'm applying this all over my lips and you want to use a lip stain because you want your lips to stay moist and coloured all day even after eating all the Chinese New Year goodies. And taking my L'Oreal Glam Shine Lip Gloss, I'm just applying this over for the extra plump and shine. Finally, I'm applying on my falsies and this is completely optional. It depends on how comfortable you are with wearing falsies the entire day. So here's the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you do try this look out, then do leave me a comment below and maybe Instagram and tag me um, a photo of yourself or uh, leave me a video response, you know, just let me know how your Chinese New Year makeup look went. And yep, here's wishing everybody Sing Yen Kwai Le Wan Shirui Gong Si Fa Thank you so much for your support and see you again soon. Bye!